Man, when you think about how amazing the human body is, I just had a great conversation with my good friend, Matt Alvord. The title of it's going to be, Are Your Answers Killing You? And when you listen to it, if you haven't already, it's a brilliant statement he comes up with at the very end of the podcast. Are your answers killing you? So an answer starts with a question. So what are you questioning? And then who are you questioning? And what answer are they giving? And are you receiving the answer? Are you taking the answer as truth? You know, we're going to do an event called The Talk. We are now, as of today, it's January 24th, 2023. And part of my vision is we are creating an event called The Talk, where we will bring people together in a room. We will travel the country doing it and have a conversation, ask questions, and offer up potential answers. And the ultimate answer to any one of these questions is the body is more intelligent than you were led to believe. And perhaps your belief has been stolen from you. Your faith in you has been stolen from society. Your perception of life and what you believe in today can affect the outcome of your life and health tomorrow. The decisions you make and whose truth you are living by, specifically if it's not your truth but it was thrown upon you, could be making you miserable and killing you. And when we look at the simplistic way the body works and the the brilliance of the the atlas and the axis and the brain stem and what the brain stem does and how the brain and body work together and they're orchestrated to create just awesomeness restoration, adaptation to your life. It's nice to stop the train of life and just think about how awesome you are. How right now your heart is beating and knows how to pump gallons of blood through every cell tissue organ of your body, through all your muscles. Your immune system is regulating all the viruses and bacteria passing through you right now. Depending on how strong that system is, depends on your outcome. You know, you look at, for example, how someone may look at a fever. Is a fever good or bad? Well, a fever is always good. It's the body's natural defense against something that doesn't belong there. It's when it doesn't run the fever at an appropriate time that things could become bad, if that is even possible. But what is the job of a fever? If you've got a child that came across an infection or something that just does not belong in the body, the body innately cranks the heat and kills it naturally so that child can live abundantly in health. You see, a fever could be one of the greatest expressions of health. I think it is one of the greatest expressions of health. You know, it's amazing. Every time I walk into a bathroom and I... I relieve myself, urinate, pee. I'm like, this is one of the most amazing things in the world. The ability to stand over a hole and get these fluids out of my body, which is flushing toxins out and things that don't belong. My body just tells me when to do it, and I just have to be open to it. How does it know how to do that? I get an infection and I run a fever for a day, and my body kills off whatever doesn't belong there. How does my body know how to do that? And you know, it's this thing called innate intelligence. You're all born with it. It's an inborn wisdom inside every single one of us. And you don't have to believe in it. It still does its job. If I take this Atlas and Axis model, for those of you listening, I'm holding one in the air and I drop it. It's going to fall every time. No matter what I think or believe, it's called gravity. It's a natural law. 
I get an infection that doesn't belong and I run a fever, my body's adapting and killing what doesn't belong. It's a natural law. And when you realize <coughs> these natural laws, you realize how amazing you are. And when you start to believe and have faith in this innate intelligence in you, inside of you, from the day you're born, conceived, it never leaves your body, and you allow that to govern your life, oh, baby, life becomes much more simple and much more powerful, and we start to see and feel our blessings beyond measure. Trust the process. Trust the life. Trust what's inside of you.